Now that is written in chapter 10, the preacher, and in chapter 11, the appearance of the stupa. In these chapters, Tathagata Pravutaratna appears. Let me briefly tell this part. Bodhisattva Gadgadasvara made the Big Bang happen and appears in human shape. He was born well, very handsome and elegant with 32 fortunate signs. His voice was charming and tender. Why did he come all the way to this world? It's because he had the purpose to read chapter 10 and 11 in the Lotus Sutra, which was left by Buddha Shakyamuni, the Tathagata in the period of true law. What is written in those chapters? Tathagata Prabhutaratna appears. Now, what is Tathagata Prabhutaratna? Tathagata Prabhutaratna is the assembly of all Tathagatas in the past. The aggregate of Tathagatas that had extinguished in the past. In chapter 23, Bodhisattva Gadgadaspra asks to take a closer look on the whole phenomena of the aggregate. Now this is the point. When you look at this whole phenomena of the aggregate, you can even see the life of Bodhisattva Gadgadaspra who became Tathagata. It's all the Tathagata in the past. Every Tathagata is in the stupa. So, Bodhisattva Gadgadasvara sees inside this entire stupa and finds himself already having become a Tathagata. He himself is in there being a Tathagata. What is written in the end of chapter 23 is that Gadgadasvara accomplished the preparation to become Tathagata at last. That is, in short, he came down to this world, read the Lotus Sutra like a demon, and understood it. So he got it. He found his own life when he became a Tathagata in the entire remains tower of Tathagata. What he understood was about the whole creative world. He understood what the whole creative world is. He understood the world in which he became a Tathagata, being among the infinite Tathagatas in the whole creative world. He found what to do in his next life. In his next life, he becomes Tathagata, takes disciples and makes them emancipated. He reaches the culmination of liberation by revealing what the Tathagata Pravutalatna is. So far, I have talked to you, but I should not go talking beyond this point in you too. I must talk to you directly. Understood? In order to understand the Lotus Sutra, read chapter 23, first of all. It has subtitled Bodhisattva Gadgadaspara back and forth Saha world. Now this Gadgadaspara from the Buddha land in the ninth dimension, making the Big Bang freely, he is reborn into the third dimensional world. He reads the fifth teaching. At the moment he reads it, he gets boom. He gets shocked because of his predestination. Now, why did Bodhisattva Gadgadaspara get shocked? It's because in the previous life, he was liberated under a Tathagata, devoted himself, and was told, Gadgadaspara, you can go back to your Buddha land again, but make the Big Bang happen and go to another world to study the fifth teaching of Buddhism from a Tathagata in that world. There in the fifth teaching lies what the omniscient and omnipotent is. You are able to make the Big Bang happen freely. You have almighty power already, but study the fifth teaching. It tells you what it is to be all-knowing, so understand it and be omniscient and omnipotent. You are already omnipotent, so understand omniscience and spread that omniscience all over the universe. 
You were ordered this command, so-called Sarva Buddha Sandoshana. In every world you had been, it was ordered by many of Tathagata. Vocal sound resonate like thunder. Who had lived there? So, in the chapter 23, after returning to the Buddha land, he came to this world by causing the Big Bang again. Then he got shocked when he read the Lotus Sutra. Why shocked? Because he realized that he had attained the Chukki. And what did he have to do? To read chapter 10 and 11 of the Lotus Sutra. Also to read the whole remains of Tathagata Prabhupada. So, what's written there about the whole creative world? And in there, he also found himself having become a Tathagata. Now that he has known this, he decides to live and become a Tathagata in his next life and returns to his world. This story is written in chapter 23. So, Bodhisattva Gadgadaspra came to read chapter 10 and 11. He wanted to understand what Tathagata Prabhutratna is and understand the whole remains tower to find the life in which he becomes a Tathagata. This is the substance of the Lotus Sutra, chapter 23, 10, and 11. Summarize the chapter as well and write out as much as you memorize them. Start to summarize from chapter 23, then 10, and 11. Could you have this work done? Then after that, those people who had the feeling of spark inside your heart watching this video would surely see me directly in near future. And at that time, I'll explain the answer. Okay, that's for today. Thank you for your time.